Hello, my name is Kyle Womb, and I'm in Physics 2211, Section N08. So the extra credit lecture that I attended is the dynamics of the bat ball collision. I found this lecture very interesting as it shows the physics behind baseball. Baseball can seem like a very boring sport when you're spectating, but like knowing the physics behind it, and this is the stuff that you study, it makes it very interesting. So first off, first of all, we're going to talk about the bat ball collision. It's very short interaction time. So when the ball, and what I did not know is that when the ball um, is hit, the ball becomes half of its natural radius and it compresses like a spring. So then when the ball is hit, it gains potential energy as it rises in the air. I also had intuition behind it, but was never sure that um, the ball obeys the law of conservation of energy. And I'm, I'm sure now that it has to obey because it's a law, but it obeys the law of conservation of energy. So, and also that energy is dissipated in the forms of vibration and distortions. And um, I can relate to this because I used to play baseball. And when you hit the baseball, when you hit the baseball with your bat in the wrong like part of the bat, then you will get like this bad vibration and it hurts like very badly. So that and that's energy dissipated that could have gone into the bat and that could have transferred into the ball and made the ball go farther. But usually when you don't hit the ball in the sweet spot, that's where you get the maximum um, energy conservation, then um, the ball won't go as far. And um, so you may want to know what determines batted speed. And um, what determines bat speed, bat, batted ball speed is the pitch speed and the bat speed. But the bat speed more so than the pitch speed, because um, when you swing the when you swing a bat faster, then the ball travels farther. And um, in addition, the we can compare different types of bats. So you have aluminum bats and you have wooden bats. Um, wooden bats have higher moments of inertia, so the collision efficiency is higher. So that makes so um, it gives you more power when you swing. But um, the trade-off between uh, a wooden bat and an aluminum bat is that an aluminum bat, it will be lighter, but it will be also faster. So you will hit balls more frequently than if you had a wooden bat. But the wooden bat will give you more power. And um, also, what I um, learned about, the, what I learned from this lecture was the flight of baseball and the different forces that act on it. So um, the different forces that act on the baseball are magnet force, drag force, and the gravitational force. And um, the magnet force and the drag force are, they deflect the ball so it just doesn't go in a straight line. And that's how you end up getting curve balls and other different pitches that are interesting that have um, random movements. And, um, so what I looked up after this is after this lecture was like baseball players and like their batting styles and their batting swings and or their swing and like their the speed they swing it at and most sluggers um, that like that hit home runs on the regular base on a regular basis they tend to swing the ball fast they swing they tend to swing the bat faster and I also um, looked up porking the bat because I found that very interesting. And um, in a, a couple of years ago, slugger Sammy Sosa uh, corked his bat, which is remove, which is like opening the wood and like removing a piece out and like filling it with something lighter. But he didn't. I'm assuming he did not know that making the bat lighter wouldn't make wouldn't give him more power. It would just make him. It would just make him swing the bat faster, which is important. But if he wanted to be a a, a heavy slugger and hit the ball out of the park, he should have left the bat as it was because it, it has a higher moment of inertia um, when it's full rather than when, when the bat is hollow, like an aluminum bat. And um, so I found this uh, physics lecture on baseball very interesting. And, I, um, and now when I watch baseball, I can relate it to something other than just watching it for the game. But I can also say, yeah, that's why that's why the, the ball travels so fast of this when he swings the bat harder right, as opposed to when he just butts the ball and the ball barely goes anywhere. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a good one.